from the start of training camp uh, through our preseason. Uh, we understand why our strengths are on the defensive end, and we want that to, to lead to our early offense. And uh, we were able to do that with the first unit. Second unit came in with extremely high energy and, uh, and, and kept it going. And the uh, second question, Paul George is, you know, I, mean, I don't, you know, it's, it's the type of player he is. He's been that player his whole career. I don't think, uh, you see, I think he ended up with 33. But, you know, I mean, that's just, that's the way he plays. You know, he plays extremely, extremely hard. He works on his game all the time. And, you know, he's done it with Indiana. He's done it with OKC. And, he's, you know, fortunate, we're fortunate to have him here. And he's uh, he was fantastic tonight for sure. Um, in, this, in the second half, you guys had 10 assists, r- roughly 10 assists, and four turnovers. What was most impressive to you about those? Which one, the turnovers or the assists? Well, I'm, that's what I'm asking you. Which, which was most impressive to you? The win. Oh, there you go. That, that makes sense. Have a good one, sir. Thank you. Enjoy the holiday. We'll move over to Tomer. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Okay. Uh, Pat, first of all, congrats on the win. Uh, I'm just curious. You know, you guys mixed up the lineup from last year by starting Surge instead of Zoo. Uh, just what did you what did you feel like that's done in terms of uh, giving you two sort of cohesive units there defensively? You know, I just think the Surge is a proven proven champion, and uh, he knows uh, you know the small things and you know throughout the game. Uh, of course, a lot of people fear him, but. Having Zoo in the second unit is also great. He's able to uh, out rebound uh, other centers. A lot of, you know, you don't have a lot of backup seven foot centers as big as Zoo. So I think the combination of both, uh, I think today Zoo had, I don't know, 11 and uh, what do you have? Uh, but it was a loud 11. He was plus 17, you know, at six rebounds, you know. So, you know, it's not about starting or coming off the bench for us. It's, at the end of the day, it's about winning. And uh, we're fortunate to do that today. Thank you. Uh, Miriam, you can go ahead. Hey, hey, Pat, congrats on the win, man. What a way to start the season. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, I, I, Coach Lou was talking about how all you guys as a team are motivated and hungry, but you are always motivated and hungry. What about this season maybe feels different for you, or, or what did you learn in like the last year or so? Is, is there something about your game or your approach that, that, that has grown at all or, diff, or is different at all? Yeah, but you know, I, I won't say because you know I end up talking and I be on all the blogs, so I'll let you know at the end of the year. Fair enough. And also, I guess I, that all the guys when I, I've been asking your teammates about you, and, and the word that comes up a lot is that it's a joy to play with you, and that or they um, they enjoy they enjoy playing with you, they enjoy you. Um, is that is that is that something that I mean you've talked about that before? You're a fun guy. You're intense, but you're fun. Is that important to sort of like bring that? I just, I just feel like I'm selfless. Uh, it's no preconceived notions with me. I'm here to be the best teammate, be one of the best leaders on the planet, uh, try to win as many games. I mean, I'm, the way I am in the game is the way I am. I don't know when I'm playing PlayStation, if I'm in practice, I'm always trying to win and try to be competitive. So uh, I guess it's just a good a breath of fresh air when you have a point guard like that on, on, on any team. Cool. Thanks, man. Thank you. Move over to Sabrina. Hey, Pat. Uh, congrats on the win and the start of year nine of your career. Um, I, I want to know about the offensive rebounding. Uh, do you think that the fact that you're such a good offensive rebounder is just not on other people's scouting reports or they know and you still beat them to it every single time? Yeah. I just wanted more. <laughs> that uh, looks like all the hands we that. I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. It's, it's just... To, you know, wanting it more, it's something to do with like schematics or, you know, no, I just positioning. I understand that, you know, Kawhi and PG or anybody, I just watch when the ball goes up and it hits the rim and I just try to go get it. That's all the hands we have up right now. So thank you very much for your time, Pat. 